haven't really done much with texture paste, uh, so I'm playing with it right now. I did a product review of the uh, RAS uh, Real Art Supplies texture paste, and I used that for uh, stamping with, but I decided I'm going to try this. So what I've already done is I've drawn on my canvas a horse head I'm working on. Um, I don't really like it, but that's what it looks like right now. And we've got, I don't know if you can see this, but I've added texture with a palette knife here because I want the mane to be really rough. And here, and then I added some more here. So it sticks up a little bit. And I'm hoping that when I go in with color that it's going to um, just add a little bit more character so so I'm just adding sorry hard to do this with this hand but I'm adding I'm just gonna go in the background first on this I don't know why just something I want to do so I'll be painting this background until I get what I like showing in the foreground and I'll show you the next step a little bit more forgot to mention that I let the uh, texture paste dry overnight before I did any painting so you're gonna want to let that happen first Still f trying to figure out the colors I want. Sorry, decided to change colors in the middle of it. So, still struggling with that. Here's where I think I'm going to really love this texture paste because you probably can't see this, but there's grooves in this. And I'm going in with a dark, like a chestnut color. And my hope is that it'll retain some of those in the crevices so that when I go back over it to highlight it, that's really going to be striking when you look at it up close. Okay, I had to put my phone in the charger so I could take more. I'm still struggling. Um, this thing has totally changed. <laughs> but you can see that I'm starting to play around with a little more orange in there and some golds. I'm liking it better. Um, I redid the horse's muzzle. But what I really like is the texture. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it in the face and like in the, let me move this light, but you can see that it's showing there. When I'm finished with it, I will show you the finished painting. All right, almost done. I've worked and had to stop yesterday because I couldn't see. Sometimes you just got to stop so you can see better. But right now I'm pretty happy, I think, with the background. It needs to contrast enough with the horse. Um, but I'm going to go in with some black and just where it's textured really add some deep dark spots so it just um, wherever there's a raised spot I'm gonna try to go in with this and add a little more I guess you'd call it contrast to get this to where it just really highlights the highlights in the horse's hair and um, after that the last thing I'll do is sign it Here's the finished product.